Hey, this is Henry Rogers here with the Daily Caller News Foundation. We are at the 2019 Young Trailblazers Awards for the RNC here in Washington, D.C., where they are honoring some young African-American celebrities here who have really put the movement on their back. We're going to be meeting with RNC Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel and many more. African-American small business ownership increased by 400% from 2017 to 2018. This here is, a, uh, is an honor for me. It's an honor and a privilege that I get to present this award. So we're here with Ronna McDaniel, the chairwoman of the RNC at the 2019 Young Trailblazers event here. And tonight we're holding our 2019 Trailblazers event where we are honoring uh, trailblazers in the Republican Party that are African American leaders in their community who have served at every level. And it's a great opportunity to, to uh, recognize the contributions of African Americans in our country, in our party, and also what the Trump administration has done for the African American community. Who are you most worried about in the 2020 election? You know, as I'm watching the field unfold uh, for 2020, I really don't see anybody standing out. I think that so many of the candidates have signed on to this Green New Deal. It's a monstrosity. It would bankrupt our country. It's a total government power grab that will take over our health care, our education, and it's unaffordable. We just crunched the numbers on the Green New Deal. You know how much it costs every American? $600,000. Do you have that? And Just then we've got Joe Biden, who's looking to get in. Listen, Joe Biden, what's he going to run on? The stagnant wages of the Obama administration, the, uh, the jobs that we're leaving our country, the manufacturing leaving our country, the bad trade deals, the failed foreign policy. So I feel good about where President Trump is, and we're going to focus on educating the American people and sharing the great results that have come out of this administration. You've been killing it in fundraising. Your numbers have been historic. Um, what has been the key? Well, hard work, just like anything. I travel a lot. I think I traveled 180,000 miles last year, just fundraising, just on those miles, and also a president that's incredibly popular. We are uh, benefited by small dollar donations that come in in support of President Trump, and that speaks volumes uh, to how supported he is across the country with low dollar donors. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. As you just heard from uh, Ron McDaniel, the chairwoman of the RNC, a lot of great things happening for the party and for, for young black Americans across the country. Uh, we're going to be joined by Paris Snart here in about uh, a couple minutes. The okay. number of African Americans that are here, they are a lot younger than I am. I'm not that old, but we have a lot of younger African Americans here. And you see the momentum that we have growing across the party in all of the states because of the Lead Right initiatives and the Rising Star initiatives. I'm inspired by it. There are Republicans who look like me. There are Republicans that support this president. And there are Republicans who want to see the country made better because of conservative principles, because of conservative policies, and quite frankly, because of what this president is doing that is impacting our community in, in a very, very positive way. I mean, this room is filled with young African-American voters right. who are in full support of President Trump and everything that he's been doing, right. and yet you have all these cable pundits and et cetera calling him a racist. Michael Cohen today Ridiculous. testified calling him a racist. What do you have to say to that? I mean, you know President Trump. You know a lot of allies close to President Trump, and a lot of people work in the White House. Um, it is it is a tactic of the left to use uh, ad hominem attacks to just go after someone be, and say that they're a racist. It's the easiest thing to do. Just label them a racist. You know why they do it? They do it because they have no other argument, because the facts are on our side. Paris, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Really Thanks for having me. My pleasure. I'm joined by Lester Goodman, Bianca Garcia, another young trailblazer here at the RNC Trailblazer event here in Washington, D.C. I am here to take in everything that's conservative so I can take it back to Florida and turn my county brow red. I'm here to just gain valuable insight from various leaders within the Republican Party, such as Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel, take these skills back to our communities and engage our communities in the 2020 election. Do you see crazy Twitter bots coming at you at all times, people coming at you at all times and attacking you for being a Trump supporter or not? To be honest, no. I think it's because of my personality. You're one of the few, huh? I think it's because of my personality. Because if people, 
Because if people come at me, I come at them with a joke, and they laugh, I laugh, I get them going, that's how I disarm them. How has it been defending the president at such a young age, um, with such a hostile environment? What we need to do is focus on everything that he's doing that's benefiting Americans. And defending Trump and defending conservative values is not a hard task for me. It's something that is very, very easy for me to do. What we need to do is we need to highlight all of his accomplishments, a record low unemployment for Hispanic Americans, Black Americans, um, consumer confidence is at record highs. Thank you. Bianca, thank you so much and have fun tonight. Get the dance going, you know, have some fun, all right? Thank, thank you. you.